Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another news video. And in today's Rockham News video, I have a bunch of information and news that I want to share with you guys. So of course, before we actually do get started, I would greatly appreciate it if you guys decided to use Code Skull inside of Rec Room, as you guys basically just give me whatever you spend inside the game for free. So I earn a little bit of money off that, and of course, let's get going. Getting us started, I finally have footage of how the dorm room customization looks like. As you guys can see, this Rec Room player has the dorm room customization, and they're able to move things that you normally aren't able to move around inside your dorm room, including your mirror, the buttons on the actual mirror and stuff like that, even the UI that replaced the community board and etc. You can also recolor a bunch of things inside your dorm room, including the rug, your bunk bed, pretty much the walls, everything. It's pretty cool. So as you guys can see, there's a lot of creative freedom with this new feature inside of Rec Room now, and I hope more players get the custom dorm room. Now I also have some news for My Little Monsters as well. I had talked about how you guys can get the gold eggs in my last video, but I want to tell you guys how you guys can get the black eggs in this video. So as per usual, you guys will need a 5 star sanctuary, and then you guys will go to DJ's Diner. It's already been revealed to me by another Reckon player, but basically you'll go through DJ's dialogue and stuff like that, and you'll be able to craft the black eggs. This includes every single monster, and the UI is labeled the black market, which it's kind of spooky. Be sure to let me know if you guys already have a black monster inside of My Little Monsters. I unfortunately don't. I, I still got Sigma. I didn't notice this at first, but we now have this My Little Monsters shop inside our watch shop. In addition with the weekly one, we can actually finally buy My Little Monsters stuff now, and it's pretty cool. They even have a new popcorn for it too. And of course, what are your guys' thoughts? Not to mention, we had also gotten some new discounted offers. This is a new tab inside the watch store that Reckham has had recently. It's just a bunch of items that are now, you know, 50% off or 10% off or 20% off, and be sure to let me know if you guys are copping anything. It was also revealed that Rec Room's My Little Monster had some hot fixes. I'm a few days late to this, my apologies, but of course, let's continue onwards. Ryu says, We hope My Little Monsters has been exciting for you so far. We are all still working on some bug reports you've sent in, and we've already got a few hot fixes for you now. First off, we made a fix for players with a broken quest state when entering the Evergrown before getting the first monster. All you have to do is re-enter My Little Monsters to reset the quest state. We experimented with changes to improve room stability and have capped the number of players who can join Cryptid Creek to 4. They rebalance monster experience for activities when they don't want to do that activity. They also fixed an issue where your tools might disappear in gameplay, and if you notice tools disappear or fail to craft, go to your dorm, then join a new private instance of Cryptid Creek. They fixed a few grammar and spelling errors, oops, and lastly, added a few cute faces or emojis inside the Reckham Discord. Thank you for giving us feedback and enjoy the weekend. Keep sending us those cute screenshots, we love them. We had also gotten a little reminder for the art contest that says, Attention all artists. This is a reminder that the art contest ends soon. So all entries must be entered before Monday the 17th at 11.59pm. Remember to turn all of your progress pictures to public before the submission deadline. We look forward to seeing all your beautiful artworks. Now, I have this week's meme of the week, and it honestly isn't really too much of a meme, but since My Little Monsters has just came out, I wanted to feature it. I have a cute little video of this little chubacabra swimming while trying to run in one of those little toys that you build for them. Not too much of a meme, I know, but I wanted to include it since My Little Monsters just released. Also, you guys know that house that's on top of My Little Monsters? Well, it turns out it's a lie. A Reckon player that actually showed me some video footage of them being up there. And here's how it looks. Unfortunately, there's nothing cool or special up there. It just seems to be a house that's on decoration mode, so you can like walk through it and stuff. Definitely would have been cool if we had like some hidden lore up there or something like that. Who knows? Continuing onwards, it was also revealed that players were getting soft locked, quote unquote, with My Little Monsters. Players basically just couldn't, you know, continue on with their quest and etc. And there was two instances that I've seen. For the first instance, this player was soft locked because the game had thought that he had crafted the metal axe, even though he still had the stone axe. Kind of a strange bug, honestly, and it really just stops you from doing your actual quest. Another instance was with an egg. My friend Deck Deck 12 or Rec Room YouTuber, as some of you guys know him, had sent me a video of him not being able to hatch an egg, even though the quest had said that he could hatch an egg. Now Deck Deck was playing My Little Monsters on stream, and he had for some reason gotten another egg in the exceptional. So he went to go, you know, put it inside the little egg hatchery thing, and then he had logged off. When he had logged back on, the egg was gone, but the quest to still hatch that egg was there, so he literally got stuck. And Reckon players at Useful Body Avatars have been noting that their arms, most notably, have just not been looking the same. They're either too skinny, sort of distorted, and honestly, it doesn't matter what they decide to wear, it just happens to look like that. A super weird avatar bug that's been going on there recently, for sure. Now talking about full body avatars, Reckon players were asking Reckon developers about full body tracking. 
Now inside this little image, the person with the orange name is a Rec Room developer. That means that that person works on Rec Room internally. It was revealed from Joad Animation, a Rec Room developer, that unfortunately, there's not any time soon full body tracking is going to be out. We're working on a dev blog update to go over what we've been working on and where the Avatar team is currently focusing its efforts. And asked if you could put a ballpark estimate on when I want it to come out at this time or when it's actually probably gonna come out, Joad Animation said, I can't even say. We want hand and body tracking badly, but it's not even on the calendar. Supporting and improving for beans, avatar customization, and avatar studio are current priorities. So if you guys are interested about full body tracking recently with full body avatars, that's where they're at with that. Sigma, don't you just feel like an alpha? Oh, I can just imagine the power radiating off my body right now. It just, it just really makes me want to howl. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, our viewers are here, Sigma. Hold on. Anyways, sorry you guys had to see that. <laughs> <laughs> I I have channel memberships if you didn't know already. Think of it sort of like a Patreon. Anyways, one of those perks are being shouted out in all of my videos. So, massive shout out to all my channel memberships, which include Garlic Bread, Coley, It's Ready, RR, Jack Tutorial, Not the Pup, Astro Boy, Dozer Blade Cat, WBB Burning Owl, Bucky Guy, Yo, Shaky Raphael, Cloud, Netflix 69, and Box David. Thanks for supporting the channel, and of course, if you're a Squidling, I appreciate it as well. Now, me and Sigma are gonna get out of here. So, uh, back to the video. <laughs> It was also revealed that Rec Room is not ready for a new quest yet. Jeff confirmed that the tools aren't there yet when asked why. Spooky Potato had said the Rec Room originals are developed so they can help get to tools to that point, aren't they? Jeff confirmed yes, but they're all still held back by restrictions. Showdown was held back by being the first Rec Room original made like this. It's almost like a paintball club. Make It to Midnight was held back by Rooms 2 not being ready and suffering from performance and studio issues. And My Little Monsters was held back by performance and technical issues while we pushed the tools to the absolute limit, making the game not allow multiplayer in many areas and limited interaction in downtown. That's why it's kind of lonely in our sanctuaries and inside the Evergrown. I see, I see. When asked if the multiplayer is limited inside the Evergrown because of lag slash issues that the monster caused, Jeff had confirmed that yes, the monster logic is heavy. And unfortunately, that's pretty much all the news that we have inside today's video. Some of it is old, and that's just because I didn't catch it in time, I'm so sorry. But of course, if you guys have anything that you guys want to note inside today's video, join my Discord server. The link is down inside the description below. Yes, you can be in my videos. And of course, if you don't already know, I make more Rec Room News content. So if you guys want to see more Rec Room News and stuff like that, you guys should be seeing a video from YouTube right there on that side of the screen. Anyways, me and my drift are gonna get going, so of course if you guys haven't already, be sure to like the channel, subscribe to the video, and I have to punch you down.